All right, folks, this is a redo because I did this video previously, but I didn't like how it came out. So we're going to do it again. <laughs> this is about organizing a little bit in your home and making things a little bit more comfortable for you. Um, you might live alone, so this, this would be ideal to kind of get some tips on how to organize and, um, you know, for things to fit better for you, for you be the, if, to, to invest less energy and, and be able to get things done without tackling a million things when you want to do one thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. So today we're going to do um, a bedroom and kitchen. Those are like the main uh, rooms that you'll be spending time in. Uh, and, and for the living room and dining room, you can do similar things. Uh, so I think the kitchen and bedroom are, are, you know, really important. And the bathroom as well. But I think the tips that you'll receive in, in these two rooms will fit the other, the other rooms as well. So I won't repeat myself. <laughs> That's the intent of this video, not to repeat myself. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> let's not do that. Anyhow, let's start with, <laughs> see, I'm already repeating myself. Let's start with the kitchen and uh, talk a little bit about that. Uh, if you are cooking, uh, this, this might be important for you uh, to, to work on lessening the, the times that you go around in circles trying to get stuff that you need to make one thing, eggs or pancakes or, you know, or cheese sandwich. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes those things, you know, take a lot of time because you have the tools all over the kitchen uh, and not near where you need them. So I'm going to start with the flatware and, and dishes. You know, if you are living by yourself, the best thing is to have them where it's comfortable for you, in a drawer, uh, you know, to have a bowl, plate, you know, and the silverware uh, where you need them at your reach. And you might have that already. Or down in the counter, you can get a drawer of some kind, a separate drawer, and have it on the counter and have it in there. Because sometimes kitchens are made in a very odd way, <laughs> in which <laughs> somebody made it in a very strange way, in a very awkward way, and it just it's just not accessible. So if you're dealing with a non-accessible kitchen, these ideas might be important. If you're going to be doing cooking, you know, for the big utensils, to have them close to the stove, obviously. I mean, for some it'll be obviously. For other people, it won't. Sometimes they have it like with some pegs on the wall and they'll have them, you know, on those pegs. But for you, you can't reach them because you're in a wheelchair. So if you're living with other people, it'll be important for you to come to an agreement if you could have, you know, some, some of those tools in, in a box or whatever. And anything that's on the top cabinets, you know, if there's anything there that you use often, for them to lower them or put them somewhere where, where you can reach them. Without you, what I have to do, you know, what's up in the upper cabinets for me is a cereal. <laughs> so, so sometimes at night I want to eat something, and so I, I use cereal. So I grab my, my grabber, and, you know, I try to reach it, and then I get it to the edge, and then I catch it as it c it's coming down. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> The other thing you can do is to, when you're going to make something, to really um, take it and uh, grab all the tools you need, all of them, and just put them there on the counter, and then you have them there at your reach. So, so there you go. Either put the absolutely necessary tools that you need in a drawer or purchase a box or a drawer type uh, cabinet to put it on, on top of the counter and have your specific tools that you need every day in there um, for things from the upper cabinet that you're going to need and have them brought down uh, to have the tools that you need for cooking near the stove. Uh, you know, just so just kind of take time to think those things through uh, so that they're not all over the place and you're, you know, spinning your wheels. <laughs> literally, <laughs> trying, 
trying to get everything together and spending more time and more energy. All right, so those are my ideas for the kitchen. For the bedroom, let's go there now. Um, for the bedroom, you know, I had my main clothes in the drawers and things that needed to be hung were in my closet. However, I change uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can imagine the, the Olympics I have to go through to get all my clothes together and then go into the bathroom. So it was just getting a, a bit much. So what I did, and you know, I have some, I have some uh, shelves in the bathroom that didn't have much there. So I decided, okay, I'm going to move all this down uh, to the floor area, and I'm going to take all the shirts and blouses that I use on a daily basis and put them on the shelf. The underwear, I have some uh, cabinet, and it has some drawers there. So I took all the underwear, and I put them in those drawers. So now I don't have to go fishing through all the drawers in my room or go, well, sometimes I have to go to the closet and I'll take that like out the night before or something and I'll put it in the bathroom. But I had stuff all over my room and I had to go through the Olympics trying to get everything I needed to take it to the bathroom. And that was sometimes causing me pain. <laughs> sometimes I would miss and get into close falls. So, uh, so that's the one thing I did. Now, some people do not have that luxury, and I get that. So y you might want to think of a rearrangement of your room so it's closer to the bathroom or wherever you change. For me, the safest place to change is in the bathroom. So for you, it might be right there in the in on your bed. So if, if the things in the drawers and, and the closet are, are good for you, leave it as is. But if you want the drawers closer to your bed, then you might have to rearrange some furniture there, and you might have to ask somebody <laughs> to help you do that. Um, but you get my drift. You could put the kitchen utensils in a big jar, you know, on the counter. So there you can reach them. If you have clutter in your room and it's hard for you to get around, then that's one big project that someone might have to help you sort things out and move things out uh, that are not quite necessary in your bedroom because you want space for your wheelchair and you want space if you use a walker, you know, to transfer and things like that. You want space for that. You want to put priority of what's in your bedroom. You know, for things to be a little bit closer to you, uh, when you uh, where you need them the most because, you know, it's already energy uh, draining to have to go all over the place trying to get the things you need. And so to have them closer to you is, is like magic. <laughs> For me it is, anyway. <laughs> it helps me a lot to be able to get through the day without saying, oh my God, I hurt my leg or I hurt my back or I hurt, I hurt something again, you know, in, in the Olympics of trying to get the things I need. So that is the big clue of this video, is to move things closer to you so you don't have to go all, all the way around your bedroom trying to get the clothes you need, or go all the way around the kitchen like a chicken with your head cut off trying to get uh, the peanut butter and the knives that you need uh, to make a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or you're trying to make eggs and everything is all over the place, and you spend at least 10 minutes trying to get the tools you need. <laughs> so so that's the point of this video. <laughs> Your homework will be to kind of sit for a little bit and kind of think, reorganize in your head, you know, what's going to work for you and um, how can you bring things closer to you and in a more practical spot. So that is, to me, crucial that things would be in a more practical spot. So these drawers that I have over there, you know, everything is over there now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't have to strain running around my room and then going into the bathroom over there <laughs> trying to get my clothes 
on. <laughs> so everything is in there now. So I don't I don't stress. I know everything is in there. I just go in there once and I can I sit out of the commode and, and I change right there. So so these are my ideas. You know, you might have some other cool ideas that would work for someone. If you want to take a picture of your kitchen and how you rearranged it, um, that would be super cool. So other people can see it and say, oh, yeah, that would work for me. Now, all our kitchens are different, different sizes, different shapes. So what works for one person might not work for another. And bedroom arrangements, you know, there's bedrooms of all kinds of shapes and sizes. And so your bedroom might composition might not work for somebody else, but it's the idea of bringing things closer. So I'm hoping this is helpful to you. This is just strategizing on how to bring things closer where you can reach them and not have to go all over the place trying to get them. All right, I promise not to repeat in this video, <laughs> so I won't. <laughs> all right, take care. All right, folks, the invitation also is to look at one of the videos that are up there and see if that's helpful for you as well. And stay tuned for other videos that might be practical, that might give you some reminders of um, how or where or with who, you know, in terms of your, your wheelchair or your disability. All right, I hope to see you in the next video. And let's get this information out so that it will help people with disabilities and um, that, you know, you can't take your therapist home. So <laughs> let's put some information out here so that people uh, can find the support they need. All right, take care. Bye.